Hello and welcome back to Estonia. My name is Rabenschild. I was sick for the last days and couldn't record. So now I'm back with Estonia. Everything else will come, okay, will come too. So uh, this will be a busy, busy last few days in this week. So I have brought back the truck over here and I ran out of energy just here. And I brought some uh, more um, research items with me. What I completely forgot and on the way back I basically remembered that is you can stick the research items on here. So I could add two more and I found two more of these um, techy looking items. Not very alien but more technology something looking like research items and we will uh, immediately start to research some of them uh, some of them all of them i want to have the winch to transport the big solar panel that there is and maybe bring it back to the base that is the crane that's nice too and we will take a look at that but I again want the winch. Let us see if we can get no copper. Not what I need. Another thing I want to do is I want to build another truck so that we can transport more things uh, with yeah with our trucks here. We could. Um, connect them to each other and then uh, have basically a trailer behind uh, the, the first vehicle and then we could also take a crane with us that makes um, getting resources a bit easier and yeah but the main thing is definitely the winch that doesn't look too nice at the moment so let us try the last one if we don't get the winch then this will be the project for today or maybe the next episode or whatsoever uh, this is I I don't know if there is specifics if some research uh, objects yeah always bring the same items in so it could be that the winch is something that is only in, don't know, research items on the moon or something like that. If that's the case, then yeah, we might, ooh, we might have to go there and try our luck there. Come on. The spaceship that would come in handy for going to the moon, but we need some other things before. We might want to have the hmm now I'm <laughs> now I'm torn now I'm really torn uh, I would say I bring this closer to the base we unload the materials see what we can do with the materials and then uh, we decide for a bit of a more appropriate plan what to do next we will make another addition to the base and see if we can build the fuel generator, fuel condenser. We can build that with two copper. Yeah. Now the hard decision is the, the spaceship costs us four copper. The fuel condenser costs us two, but I think getting copper is relatively easy. So I think we can waste that. I put these two storage modules on there so that we um, so that we can store more stuff there and I put two more on the truck the fuel condenser is a bit it's a bit useless because it uses energy to provide fuel there's easier ways to get fuel you can mine it you can mine hydrogen and get a lot of fuel for the spaceship 
On the other hand, yeah, you have to go underground and find it for that. Um, if you don't want to do that and have a sunny day with maybe a bit of wind, then this is an option for you. It's it's just it takes a bit could could take a bit longer. Good. I will go underground, find some more copper, maybe find some more aluminium, and maybe bring up some more some hydrazine or some fuel for the spaceship because we could build the spaceship maybe build another vehicle bay that could help with um, building other vehicles because for some reason the spaceships really like to land on vehicle base they can land somewhere else but if you have a base then have a free vehicle base for one of the for your spaceship then everything should be fine i want to build the spaceship it's good that we found that because yeah why go with a shuttle when we can just take the spaceship we might need another habitat so we could build a moon base so one thing i also want to grab is more um resin the moon as far as i know has a lot of all the other stuff but doesn't have a lot of resin so we will bring that definitely with us good let me go and mine for some more materials maybe find some more copper some more aluminium and then i will be back with you in one of the last episodes i found this uh aluminium and copper uh don't know how to call it vein is the wrong word but there's also hydrogen so we could find the first um yeah, we could go and mine the first fuel for the ship if we build it again i found another research object that's also a thing i'm i'm taking a look at so maybe that we yeah that we can get the winch then we might want to go to the moon at a later date i found a bunch more research objects behind me in the tunnels and i found a good amount of you can see that copper i have that in my backpack now and there's a lot of hydrogen so we will not have to use the fuel condenser to fill up our spaceship if we build that and with the amount of copper i have now i'm kind of set on doing that so ah, it it always depends on what I can find in these research objects because I know that there is... Oh, okay, yeah, we... Coal. We don't need coal at the moment. Hmm. Should we do that? Should we go for the spaceship and just make a trip to the moon? Uh, or let us say make the spaceship and then make a trip to the moon in the next episode or so and see what we can find there. One of the main projects I have, kind of, is getting one of these solar panels back to the bases. So, b both would be absolutely nice. So, finding more research objects on the barren planet or on the moon that surrounds our planet here would be the thing. So... Let us, let us make the spaceship. We will just build that, then we have it. We will fill it up, do a trip to the moon, maybe establish a small base there, have our first off-world base, basically. Good. Let me grab some things for that. Or, mm, we don't need to grab a lot of things for that. We just, now we can just do this and this, and then... Uh, yeah, build the spaceship. What we then need will be a cockpit. Uh, I think I will just grab one of the... Do I have one spare or do I need to take the one from the... Let me see. When the vehicle bay is filled up, we could take a look. The crane, the storage, the three-seater... I will just build a new cockpit with 
the 3D printer. I want to use one of these cockpits because I'm alone in this world. So why, why use more than I really need to have? Do I still have? Ah, I used up all the resin. That's a bad thing because, uh, not resin, compound. I need some compound for the habitat. And I also need to grab some resin. We can do that in the meantime. But for now, we will go and put this on the spaceship. Nice. And now we need to fill that up. Grab some compound for a habitat. And some compound for... I need a compound for something else. The habitat. We need compound for the habitat for now. We will see. Yeah, and we need to grab some resin. Good. Let me catch some more materials. You can see that I'm coming back with a good haul of uh, resin and compound. I think we are really set for, don't know, a new base on the barren planet or the moon we will call it the moon that surrounds this planet here it's very very nice so i want to do some other things we need a habitat and we can just build that by taking the stuff from the rover uh, we want to take a habitat with us and then we need some copper and we need some aluminium at least a bit of aluminium I want to have one of these small sized uh, wind wind veins and I want to have uh, one of these small sized um, solar panels for the start of the base and then we definitely need resin, a good amount, I would say, so that we can... Let's just do this. Uh, resin for the base. We can just stick that on there. And maybe another one with compound and resin. So, let us just talk a moment what you need to build a base. On this barren planet, the day-night cycles are very, very um, fast. So what we could do is we could go with solar power on there. Then we would need batteries. Good thing is that I know that you can find lithium in deeper caves on the barren planet. So we could bring our... Uh, we could get some yeah we could get some lithium then build some batteries solar power you need compound too for the big solar arrays we can find a lot of compound on the moon again resin is the thing we don't have a lot what we do need is I think we should bring two compound with us for a solar panel and maybe two compound for eventually the fuel synthesizer or the fuel condenser because if we can't find a fuel source there we will not strand there because if we fill up this ship and I will do that next then we can do one or two trips. That shouldn't be a problem. What I want to put into my backpack is a bit of copper because copper is needed for the 3D printer. I want to put in a bit of aluminium and then two copper for the, uh, for the trip there. Okay, now I'm filling up my backpack that's completely useless because I still have to find fuel for the 
<laughs> for the ship. So I will have to go and put that somewhere else anyways. So where can I put the coal here? Um, I will just put it here. Coal, by the way, you can find that on the Baron Planet too. That would be neat too. If we, don't know, get some more copper, we can build at one point a generator and that then just put that stuff in there. Or uh, put the coal in there. Use some coal to fill up the batteries there. Although, again, it's not needed. If you have eno enough solar power, then we are good to go. We will fill up this rack too with stuff and we will just take a few other things with, that I with us in the backpack. Again, we start out with a small solar panel, co one compound and one um, and one of these wind vanes. That's one aluminium. We need a bit of resin to establish some of the, the base buildings there. And then we start out with a 3D printer that is copper. Ah, I want to take a bit more compound with us because with compound we also make the research module or the research research thingamabingy. <laughs> and this thing uh, would be good to have because then we don't need to bring back the research items uh, from the moon. So, okay, this should give a good haul of fuel, I hope at least. I will go deeper into the cave, I know that there is more there. What, how much do we have by now? We still have space for four more tanks, so, ah, back there a bit more. Oh, there's another research item. We could bring that back with us because I have a lot of these spiky things, but I think I didn't research a lot of these. Let us get rid of... See, these spi spiky things, I did a lot of them. Uh, so, I'm always glad to find... Ooh! That's neat, but at the moment not needed big holes in the ceiling uh, in the floor I would say in the floor big holes in the floor good if I have filled up the spaceship then I will end the episode here and we'll go and do some uh, base building okay oh I'm am I filled no there's a power thing in there <laughs> that snuck in there okay that is enough now we are filled up I will bring back this research item with me and we will see us back at the base that was a dud it was just a bit of compound in the research item too bad okay let us fill up the spaceship there's these connectors for the tanks on the side and we can just stick the hydrazine tanks on there and fill it up wow this this thing takes a lot of fuel okay just for uh, com completionist things we will just I will just show you the fuel condenser. You can see that this is the amount of energy it takes to make one of the tanks and it takes a bit of time. But just to show you how this thing works. It's uh, it's not like uh, that would be problematic or the, the figuring out how this thing would be any problematic, but you can see that it does give us fuel for a lot of energy. Another one. And then this should be filled up. And then we are good to go in the next episode, I would say. Good. There is... Uh, I will have to pick up all the, the items and then think again about 
what else I might be missing. But I think I'm good to go. I think I have everything. Maybe I will take a bit more compound with me just because I can. Okay, pick this up. Oh, I should sit out this storm here. I think I will end the episode just here while we are in this storm. <laughs> I'm going back to my small hole here. Good people, next episode to the barren planet. Find more research objects, build a, a small base there so we can go back and forth and maybe bring back some lithium for more batteries and all that stuff. Good people, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, then please leave a like on this video and I hope to see you in the next episode. See ya guys.